Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial on my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to encapsulate chunky glitter shapes. These are super fun and trendy. I'm going to do two nails and one I'm going to show you using just gel polish and then the other one I'm going to use hard gel. So this first nail I've done two coats of black gel polish. This would just be just your basic gel polish manicure and I'm going to apply a really thin layer of clear gel. If you're, again, if this is just a gel polish manicure, you could use a base coat or a top coat. Any clear gel that you have, I'm just going to do a really thin layer and I'm gonna try and leave a little bit of a space around the outside of the nail. So don't take the gel all the way to the cuticle area and the side walls. Now I'm gonna start placing my chunky glitter shapes for this, I'm using the Daily Charm Holographic Shapes. I'll make sure and have everything linked below. You can also save 10% off of all the products in this video from Daily Charm using my code KD10. So I'll make sure and have that down below as well. So I'm using a dotting tool with a tiny bit of gel on the end of it just to be able to pick these little glitter shapes up. And they're so cute. I love this mix. It has hearts and stars, moons, hexagons, circles. It's adorable and they have different colors of it. So I also have like a matte black version of this glitter and I love it. So, so this is the silver holographic color and I'm just gonna place these again all around the nail wherever I would like them to be. Then once I have it exactly where I want it before I cure it, this is the key like top tip to show you guys how to flatten these glitter shapes out using a nail stamping like stamper and I have it situated inside of an LED curing lamp or an LED curing flashlight. And I'm going to first hover, turn the flashlight on and hover it over the nail for a couple seconds, like five to 10 seconds, maybe three to five seconds. Uh, you might want to play with it and just kind of see how your gel works. But that's the key is you want to hover it before you go down and press it on, down onto the nail because if you don't hover it and it won't be cured quite enough yet and it'll just slip around all over the place. So hover the flashlight over top of the nail and then use that stamping head and push down and this is going to flatten those glitter shapes. This is like the best trick that I've learned. So this is going to flatten those glitter shapes and kind of wrap them around the nail and it just works so perfectly. So now I'm going to cure this for a full cure in my lamp once it's done. And for the top coat, since this is a gel polish nail, I'm going to be doing a slip layer of my top coat and for this I'm using the Magpie Like a Diamond so it's a nice kind of thicker consistency and I'm going to do a slip layer over the nail and then I'm going to take a little bit of a bigger dollop and float it on the nail and this is going to cover those glitters so nicely and you can cure this and your nail is going to be perfectly nice and smooth. For the next method I'm gonna show you is this would be if you were doing a hard gel nail. And so first of all, you wanna make sure that your base is very, very thin. So if you're doing a hard gel nail or an extension, you want it very thin on the bottom. So I've done two coats of H85 and I'm gonna use H69 to do a nice glitter fade called Goldilocks. And H85 is like the most beautiful, like light tan color that has a holographic shimmer in it as well. So I'm just placing the bulk of this glitter gel polish near the cuticle area and I'm gonna feather it down the nail to create a glitter fade. Once I have that glitter fade how I like it, I'm going to go in and drop some of these really gorgeous holographic glitters into it. These glitters are from their Pixel Hex glitter set and this is like a peachy kind of a rose color. It's so pretty. Once I'm happy with this, I'm going to give this a cure in my lamp, and then we're gonna place some chunky glitter shapes on there. So I am doing a really thin layer of the clear hard gel that I have. This is what I'm gonna to use to stick those glitter shapes into. And for our glitter shapes, I'm using some of the leaves that are from Daily Charm. Again, I'll link everything below. And they just went so perfectly, like so perfect for fall. So especially these leaves, you'll notice because they're quite a bit bigger, they do stick up. And so they stick up on the sides and it might be a little bit harder to 
lay them perfectly flat. I'm also adding some of the other pixel glitters in the orange shade because I thought it would kind of tie in those orange leaves a little bit. And I'm just, again, placing them into that wet clear gel. And here you can see how they kind of stick up. You know, they definitely don't lay flat because of just the shape of them and so I'm going to use that same trick that I did with the first nail and the flashlight again hovering it over the nail for a couple seconds and then pushing down and flattening those glitters out. Now I'm going to encapsulate the glitters with my clear gel so I'm doing a nice slip layer over the entire nail and then I'm going to drop in a bigger dollop of the gel. This is again why you would want a very very thin base layer under this because you're basically building the nail over top of the glitters. So that instead of building the nail underneath and then putting the color on top, you're actually doing it the opposite way. So you would want to start with an extremely thin layer of gel on the nail first or a very thin extension. So once I've got the hard gel, laid down I'm going to cure it and then file and shape it and this is like one of the best parts of doing encapsulated glitter is when you have the nail all filed and then you apply your top coat and those glitters just pop out but you can kind of see how these glitters like lay really nicely in there and they're nice and wrapped around the nail so now I'm applying my top coat and look at those glitters shine through so gorgeous this is such a good look for this fall season. Uh, but again, this technique can apply to any chunky glitters that you have. So those are my techniques on how to encapsulate chunky glitter shapes using either gel polish or a hard gel. And I hope these tips helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.